Let's talk about TMJ relief, okay? There's three things that I'm gonna teach you today that can give you a tremendous amount of relief. If you search out information on TMJ, you're gonna find uh, dangerous treatments, actual surgery, which has major complications, uh, drugs, people using splints that really never do anything. And maybe you went to a chiropractor to get it adjusted. Uh, being in practice for 30 years and working with the jaw and giving people adjustments to the jaw, I've never once found that to be successful. And simply because it's not really a bone out of place that just needs to be put back into place. It's a combination of a lot of muscle tension. You have a little disc inside the joint right here. You have a lot of things going on. However, I do wanna say the number one reason or the root cause of TMJ from my experience is related to recent dental work. You had some work done on your teeth and every time you bite or chew, it throws off the mechanics of your entire, not just your jaw, but the muscles around the jaw, the muscles in your upper neck, the muscles that go down the neck into the shoulders. It can create a cascade of all sorts of compensations that can really throw your body off. So if you had recent dental work, um, go back to the dentist and have them double check to make sure that your, all your teeth are fitting perfectly because just one tooth that's not quite fitting can create a huge effect on your jaw. Now, I do wanna say one other thing that I found, especially if you have pain in your right side, on the right side of the jaw right here, suspect potential gallbladder problems. Why? Because the gallbladder being underneath the right rib cage um, is very close to the diaphragm. And there's a nerve in the diaphragm that if irritated, if the gallbladder is a little bit swollen, can activate this nerve, which goes right up through here to your neck and the acupressure meridian system as well can cross over and cause pain in your right jaw. Normally it's gonna be in the right shoulder or the upper back, but it can go right into the right jaw. So if you're working on the jaw for the next 10 years and the real problem is your gallbladder, you're never gonna see change. So whether you have pain, clicking, popping, let's just dive right into the three steps, okay? The first step is you're gonna be first locating which side it hurts the most, okay? Let's say, for example, it's the left side right through in here, and it hurts right in this articulation right here. What you wanna do is you want to massage, okay, the opposite side on the muscles, okay? And you're gonna be basically working around the joint. So if it hurts on this side right here, don't massage on that side, work on the opposite side. And, and so you're gonna basically rub right above the TMJ joint right through in here, and just gonna massage that really good. And then you're gonna work below it because there's muscles too below that joint. And you're gonna just really massage that really good. And even right into the joint as well, which is right in the front of that, your opening on your ear right here. So you're just gonna massage this. And what you're gonna notice when you're doing this is gonna be very, very, very tender. Like most people haven't realized how tender it is on the opposite side where you hurt. You start massaging this area right through in here, up into your skull, right through in here, down through here, and it's gonna bring relief to this side. So that's number one. Um, I always recommend that you rate the severity of pain from a scale from one to 10, and then re-rate it after you do this. And then ask yourself, uh, did the pain shift, okay? Let's say it went up or went down, then you massage on the opposite side. So if the pain went down, you massage it a little bit lower to the TMJ on that side, okay? And it doesn't have to be any specific type of massage. It can be irregular or whatever. You're just gonna activate the opposite side, okay? So that's step one. All right, step two, okay? And this is probably gonna give you the most relief. You have the uh, buccinator muscle and the masseter muscle, okay? That comes right through here. And you're gonna massage that, okay? Now, the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna put your fingers or a finger or a thumb in your mouth. Let me see if I could show you this a little bit better. When you put a finger up into your inside of your cheek on this side, what you wanna do is you wanna come up a little high, okay? It's called superior. You wanna press up in here and press outward right through in here, okay? Then you're gonna angle it 
to the mid part and press outward right here. And then you're gonna angle it a little lower and press outward right here. So we're going on the inside of the mouth and the outside of the teeth, okay, behind a few big muscles. And we're gonna gently press up and out, okay? And I'll show you on myself. It's gonna be very tender, okay? But it's gonna give you a tremendous amount of relief because this muscle is in a constant state of tightness and spasm. So you're gonna give uh, your muscles a lot of relief. You're gonna do both sides. So as you just saw, I pressed upward and then outward and downward. And of course, you're gonna spend more time holding that position, um, but don't try to push it because it's gonna be very, very tender. And you're gonna hold those positions until that muscle relaxes, it's gonna release. And your jaw is gonna feel really good. So let me do it on the other side with my finger. So that would be step two, okay? So we're working on the main muscles that cause your jaw to shut and we're stretching them a bit to create more space in your jaw. That alone will probably make you feel really good. Okay, that's step two. And then number three, we're gonna exercise the opposing jaw closing muscles. The great majority of the strength of your jaw is in the closing action, not opening your mouth, okay? And so you spend a lot of time clenching or closing. So those muscles a lot of times are overbalanced and to the point where they can create uh, pain in your, in your joints. For this exercise, you want to work on the opposing muscles, the muscles that open your mouth, okay? So the way you're gonna do this is you're gonna just keep your mouth shut, okay? And you're gonna hold your chin and you're gonna try to open your mouth like this. And you'll do like three sets of 10, okay? Now, of course, if you do this in public, don't mention my name because it looks kind of funny when you're doing this but you're just strengthening the opposing muscles that have been overworked. Again, giving your jaw muscle a chance to balance itself out. All right, there you have it. Go ahead and do this technique right now and comment down below if it gives you any relief. And if you haven't seen the video on the right-sided jaw pain that's related to the gallbladder, check it out right here.